Hello, uh, this is Phoenix. Um, so today, this is gonna be my third attempt doing this video. Um, so I'm gonna do the best I can. So this video is about um, the addiction gene, addiction in families, um, addiction, genetic uh, predisposition. And first I'm gonna say that Addiction um, runs in, it's genetic, it runs in families, and I know because my father was an addict, my mother isn't, my brother isn't, but I am. Um, six years sober. Um, and I'm not going to get into detail about all the members in my family on both sides that are addicts, but I'm going to say... Um, about I'm gonna talk about my uncles just real quick two of my uncles died from alcoholism cirrhosis of the liver the youngest was 29 the oldest he died at 49 I took care of him I was at his bedside I helped hospice do it so and it is a horrible thing to die from um, another one of my uncles died from at 33 years old had a stroke um, an enlarged heart, which is due to all the speed. Like back then it was crank. Um, there wasn't crystal meth, like how I guess that's all it is now. And he also did coke. And he did it for many years. So addiction has impacted my family and my life negatively, but I'm turning it around and turning it into a positive thing. And that's why I want to help people with it. Um, addiction is just like, you know, eye color or hair, you know, it could skip generations. Like, for example, my kids may not have that gene and my grandchildren may have it, may develop it. At the end of this video, I'm going to post a family treat real quick of the gene. So let me explain and give an example. Take two people, I'm going to say high school students, never drank before or did drugs, go out to a party with the intentions of having fun. Um, they get drunk for the first time. One of them has that uh, addiction gene and the other one doesn't. And the difference between somebody that carries that addiction gene and the person that doesn't is that the person that does will like that feeling just a little bit more, you know. They will, you know, they're gonna chase that buzz because they remember that it was a relaxing feeling. And the more that they chase that buzz is more of a higher chance that they are gonna develop an addiction. It can happen anytime, it can happen years and years or it can happen quickly it just depends on how often they use an addiction it doesn't happen with just certain drugs or substances it can happen with anything with um prescription pills alcohol heroin you know it's not just you know hard you know drugs like heroin that it will only you know happen with no it can happen with any drug um and the thing also with alcohol, you know, the thing about it, and that's the most dangerous one because of the fact that the withdrawal from alcohol is the only withdrawal from any substance that can kill somebody. Um, even heroin, the withdrawal from that can't kill you. I mean, it is very uncomfortable and a horrible experience, but it can't kill you. Alcohol withdrawals can. Um, and that's what is the horrible thing about it is that they sell it in stores, you know, they sell it at the corner of your street, you know, like nothing. At, they sell it at liquor stores, they sell it at grocery stores, you know, it's so easy to get to, you know, even minors can shoulder tap and get it. And that's the horrible thing about it. And if you have addiction in your family, then you got to educate your, your children, you know, like... For me, I know that my kids are at greater risk of developing it and they can't just go out and drink 
you know, like a normal person can because they may have that gene. And when they drink for the first time, that could be that time. That could act, that'll be the time where it activates it. And if they don't have any coping skills, healthy coping skills, that's what will happen, you know? Have them, you know, like after school activities, um, things like that. You know, when I, when I was a teenager, I didn't have after school activities. In fact, I didn't, I, I did bad in school. I was doing horrible. And, you know, as far as social support, you know, all my friends were drinking and doing drugs too. So the thing, it's teaching your kids healthy coping skills, healthy outlets. Um, you know, I had my daughter in kickboxing. She made it to orange belt. Um, my son loves doing um, activities. He um, has hobby. He's a photographer. He's only eight years old. And, um, and I encourage them. So that when a stressful event occurs, they'll know how to manage those emotions. I hope that this video helped. Um, and if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I will answer. Um, I'll do my best. Um, and thank you for watching.